Yeah, and then, you know what he said? He said, I can't take the pressure, and I'm just gonna break it off inside. And he did, like four times. Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage, where today I have an LS problem. I have four engines, two are on stands, two are in vehicles. Well, this vehicle is almost already taken apart, but all of them have one thing in common. They all have exhaust manifold bolts broken off inside the cylinder heads. So I decided I didn't want to deal with it, and I'm going to step up, and I'm going to get me a tool to be able to solve that issue for me. I went to the guys at Promax and told them I had four different engines of 5.3 and three different six liters that all had exhaust manifold bolts broken off inside them. Some were sticking out a little bit, some were broken off flush, and even one of them was broken off inside the head even farther, so I can't even try and weld a nut onto it. So they recommended that I get a Mikey 2. A Mikey 2 is an exhaust manifold extraction bolt set. This has everything I need to be able to extract the studs out of the cylinder head without ruining the cylinder head or trying to tap oversized bolts. So this has the guide, precision removable bushings that are replaceable, lube, a drill chuck to fit on a quarter inch air ratchet, and all the hardware and drill bits that I need to be able to do an extractor style removal of the exhaust studs out of the cylinder head. But wait, there's more because GM in their infinite wisdom decided, hey, let's use Loctite on our exhaust manifold studs. So that means that not every time is it gonna come out with the extractor. I had Promax send me a set of extractor lists bits, which is a drill bit and a tap to be able to tap out the original threads on the cylinder head. So this drill bit is gonna be able to get us real precise right into the center of that hole and just leave the shavings inside the threads. Then we're gonna use a special tap to be able to chase those threads and get out all those chips. So it's actually back to a factory size hole. I don't have to oversize or have to use a thread insert. Let's go through both methods and I'll show you how it works on this tore down truck. First step, remove the exhaust manifold. On the passenger side of this truck, it's business as usual. Rear exhaust manifold bolt broken, front exhaust manifold bolt broken. All the other ones came out okay, but I'm still gonna run a tap through them just to make sure that whenever I put everything back together, that it goes together correctly. So let's just clean this up a little bit so we can see what we're working with. I use a non-abrasive wheel to clean this off because we want to have a nice flat surface for the plate to go onto. We are going to have to clean it off anyway later on, so why not do it now? Now these plates are specifically designed for the LS engine. It comes with these precision stainless steel holders to be able to hold the guide. So we're going to use these to center everything that we need in the existing holes. There are multiple sized bushings. You always wanna start with the smallest one first. The bushing goes in the hole that you're gonna be drilling out. So this is gonna be our guide for our drill bit to go through to keep it perfectly centered in that hole. This kit is really complete. I absolutely love that. 
it actually comes with a little chuck that fits onto a quarter inch air ratchet. So if you don't have a right angle air drill, you can use this chuck with your quarter inch air ratchet to be able to get the slow RPMs that you need and into the tight spot. We wanna make sure we don't drill too deep with the provided drill bit. So they've actually given us a little guide down here under this mounting hole of how deep to run that drill bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the drill bit and put it into the chuck and then we're gonna run that all the way up to the edge and now we know the exact depth to run our chuck. So we're just gonna tighten that down with the provided hardware. The kit also comes with machinist lube. So we just take that, we stick our drill bit down inside there. It gives us the perfect amount of lube on the end of that drill bit. Now we're gonna stick this drill bit into the hole and we're gonna, we're gonna run it, we're gonna do it by hand a couple times. Now what we wanna do that for is that's just getting those burrs off of the top of that broken stud. So we wanna get those off there by hand. If you try and do that with the air ratchet right away, you have a liability to break that drill bit off. So now we can take that, put it in, make sure we're going the right direction. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a struggle just trying to get enough pressure on there. But what you wanna do is you wanna push it in for about six to eight seconds and then bring it out, make sure you clear the chips and do it again and do it again and do it again. Now, you'll notice that as you get down in there even closer that you run out of flutes on the drill bit, so you need to ch exhaust your chips more often uh, as you get closer in there. So you wanna get this about a quarter inch uh, away from the, uh, the guide based on your drill depth guide. Once you get about a quarter of an inch away, you're gonna be pretty much set to be able to take that out and go to the next step. So the next step involves just taking that precision bushing out. We're gonna clean out the chips and we're gonna put a bigger bushing in. With the bigger bushing, it's going to be the correct size with the drill bit for the extractor style removal. With the larger bit, same thing, we're just going to put a drop of machining oil on there. Now the goal of this one is two things. We're going to try and relieve some of the pressure going in, but we're also just trying to get it deep enough that we can put in the extractor, which only goes in about a quarter inch. So we don't need to drill super deep with this one. Now that we have the next hole size drill, we can take that bushing out and take the block off to be able to get to the remainder of the stud. So the next piece of the kit is this deburring tool. The deburring tool actually has a little center centering pin in there to be able to go into the hole we just drilled, but to take the extra shards and the sharp edges off of the side of that bolt to be able to make it come out easier. A lot of times what happens is you have all those sharp edges and those are what's grabbing on the way out. So we're gonna use this just to bop it a couple times just to take those sharp edges off. Now it's time for the extractor. So the extractor is basically a hardened steel shaft that has little splines on it to be able to grab onto the sides and then it has a little nut that slides over it to be able to spin it. So I took a little black mark and uh, you put a mark on there about a quarter inch down so you don't pound it in too far. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna pound that in to that line inside the stud that we just did. We're gonna take our nut and we're gonna slide it on there. Now we need to get the torque wrench. Now the torque wrench is a very intricate part of this whole process. 
and we want to set this to 180 inch pounds and 180 inch pounds is going to be the limit of torque that we can put on this extractor and remember it's inch pounds not foot pounds stud removed. I've moved over to an engine that I have on an engine stand. This is actually a 5.3, but same idea, the front and the back studs were broken off in it. What I want to show you is how to use the ProTap Pro Bushing setup. This is for an extractor list method. Basically what this does is this is going to tap out the current threads that are already there. We're going to drill that bolt hole out. So the only thing that's left is just the the metal in the threads, and then we're gonna scrape that out with a very precision cut, very sharp tap. So this is an extra add-on that you can get to your Mikey 2 kit. Uh, so this has three separate pieces in it. Take that back, four separate pieces in it. So you have a drill bit bushing, you have a tap bushing, you have a tap and a drill bit, all in this extra kit. So this is, this is essentially the last resort having to go this way, but you're also gonna get a super clean method. You're not gonna have to oversize this at all. We're gonna remove bushing number two. Make sure you clean out the hole really good of all the shavings before you move to the next step. And then we're gonna put in our drill bushing For our extractor lift style. On this one, I'm going to use an electric drill. This one's a 90 degree, but I can go nice and slow with it. I'm going to put a little bit of lubrication on there. Now we're ready to use the tap. Now the tap is a precision made just for Promax. And it's very, very sharp, but it's also got a very shallow tip to it. So we're gonna use it with their provided bushing to make sure that we keep that perfectly centered as we go through this. So we're gonna put the bushing in first. Now remember, we're not cutting new threads, we're just cleaning out the threads that are already there. So we're not gonna force this too much. We're just gonna clean out the threads, back it out, go back and forth a couple times. It's easy to see why I chose this kit from Promax. Nobody likes doing exhaust manifold studs, but when you can do it faster and more efficient and with a lot less chance of messing it up, it just makes sense. Now, the nice part about this kit and the reason I chose Promax overall was because of these plates. So these plates are precision made in the USA, but the big thing about it is the rest of this kit is all the same amongst all the other kits. The difference is the plate. So I can buy just the plates now at a lot less expense and use all the rest of it for the other vehicles that I'm doing. So the extractor method is pretty much the exact same through any other vehicle. The extractor less method, which I actually use the tap, is a little bit different. You might need to get a different tap uh, and drill bit for each specific vehicle, but make sure you check with the guys at Promax or with your local tool dealer to see what your options are when it comes to a Promax kit. So I'm Chad from Flash Performance. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, check them out. We'll see you next time.